Hey everybody, welcome to the final video of this series where we're going to deploy this project. One thing I will do is after I'm done deploying this is that I'll go back and make a secondary front end using React just because why not. Um, so essentially I'll do the same thing with React. So this video series will continue on and maybe even after that I'll do it with Svelte or Angular just to why not I have the API built so all I have to do is just make another front plate. Um, that's separately deployed. Easy peasy. So, first let's just work on deploying this app. So we've built it, it's set. Um, there's certain things we need to put in place. So the first thing we want to do is deploy the API. So we need to kind of get this API to GitHub. So let me just commit everything I've gotten so far. Git add. Git commit dash m. Commit. So this has all been committed here in this node app. So now what I need to do is I need to create a GitHub repo. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, a different method. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the Heroku CLI. So again, there's three ways to deploy in Heroku. You could use the Heroku CLI, which is what I'm about to do. You could push your repo to GitHub, which I'm s actually I should still push this repo to GitHub. So I have it. So let's just do that. Um, so I'll kind of do both. Um, I'm going to push the repo to GitHub, but I'm still going to deploy using the Heroku CLI. So I'm going to make a new repo. I'm going to call this my notes uh, notes app backend. Okay, and create repository. Okay, and then I'm going to copy this line here. That's going to add the remote repository to my project. So paste, like, adds it. And we can see that the remote was added because if I type in git remote, I see origin. That's that's GitHub. So now I'm just going to push up the code. Git push origin master. Okay, and now my code is on GitHub. Now what I could do is I could create a new GitHub pro a Heroku project and just connect this repo to it. That's one way to do it. <coughs> um, and actually, I do like that method better. Um, the Heroku CLI has certain benefits because it just is nice because you can use all the Heroku commands without having to add the app flag. But the nice thing about this is that if I ever do any updates and I push it to GitHub, it just it's going to automatically update. So I just kind of like that. So I'm just do it that way. Okay, so GitHub. So we're going to call this Notes App Backend. Okay, create app. Okay, and then what I'm going to see here: GitHub connect to GitHub. And with that, I will find the repo. So I'm connecting it to my GitHub. There's the repo, notes app backend. I'm going to connect it. So now it's connected. I want to enable automatic deploy. So that way, every time I push to GitHub, it's automatically going to deploy the master branch. And then I'm going to just do a manual deploy just to get one out of the way. OK, and let's just watch, make sure that it all works. Oh, yep, I saw that coming. For some reason, my my copy of Rails always injects these extra characters in this file right here, bundle. So I just have to take this 2.7 out. 7, git add, git commit dash m, fix. And see, now that I pushed it up to GitHub, so that I did know to do a git push origin master. So now when I push that up there, What's going to happen is I go over here the overview. I'll see. Watch in a second. It's going to start building again. Um, it's going to detect that the new push to Heroku has occurred, and this will update. See, there it is. Build in progress. So it's rebuilding it. It's going to take a second. If I want to go click View Build Progress, so we can see what's doing. So let's see. It's installing all the dependencies, all that fun stuff. It's going to take a bit. It's still not going to be one hundred percent when we get there because I have to migrate the database. But once I migrate the database, it should be up and going. So we'll just wait. Rails app, uh, moving bundler, warning, no proc fine. 
Looks like it's just about done. <coughs> Let's app back in Heroku. Good. Okay, so that's finished. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to settings. I want to copy this name right here, notes app backend. Copy. I'm going to go over here and I have to type in Heroku run Rails DB migrate because I want to migrate the database. And I have to tell which app I'm migrating for. So app, that app, that name that I got from settings. Okay. And then that's going to run the migrations on that project. Okay, that's successful. <coughs> and again, Heroku is going to, if you have the Postgres settings already up there, it's automatically going to provision a Postgres database. So if I go over here to resources, see, it's already been all set up for me. So that was pretty easy. So now let's go to open up the app. So there's the URL. Let's make sure it works. So if I go to slash notes, I should get an empty array. Okay. Oh, I got to log in. That's right, because we have auth on this. That's fine. <coughs> Okay, so control C, I'm gonna copy the URL, and then I'm gonna add that URL to our front end. Okay, so it should start pulling from that now. So I'm gonna add that to our front end code. That's in app.js. So the back end's deployed, it's, that's done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that to right here, where should it be? Uh, here we go, production URL. Okay, and that hopefully should work. We'll find that in a second. I have a feeling there's always, there's always like a little problem with this HTTP, HTTPS, so I might have to alter that. I don't need notes. <coughs> I just want it to be that. Okay, and then this should now, going forward, use the production URL, because now production value should not vary as false. So I don't have to change any of the code. Just by adding that in there, it should now work. So let me go to, let's run the file. So let's open in the container. Again, I don't want to open it with live server because of that issue we had before. So I'm going to open it in the browser with Chrome. Okay, so right now I should not be able to log in because there's no users yet. Alex Merced, Pineapple. Error logging. And now that I think about it, there's still one more thing we need to do. We have to create our environmental, our environmental variable for the secret key for uh, decoding tokens. So I'm gonna go over here to the config bars. So we see all here, like there's our database URL, rails, log, secret key base. And you know, you can even actually just double double use this variable uh, for your secret, but wish, if I remember right, we have this variable named secret. Let me just double check. Go back to our back end for a moment. And that was in our .env secret was pickles. Okay, um, I'm gonna put something in there, so I'm gonna pause this. You, you won't know what it is, it doesn't matter. <coughs> okay. Okay, so I've added that. And so I've changed the secret config bar, so now I should be able to create a new user. I'm just gonna give it a second for that to serve with the restart. <coughs> So let me create a new user, Alex Merced, Pineapple. Signed up successful, so that's a good sign. And now I'm gonna type in Alex Merced, Pineapple. So I should probably fix this so that form clears out afterwards, but we'll come back to that. And there we go, cool. Let's see if I can make a new note. So breakfast, create a note. And it works. Can I delete the note? Yes, I can. Let's make it lunch. Works. And let's update it and change it to brunch. And it updates the brunch. So, and can I log? And let's see if I refresh the page. Do I stay logged in? Yes, I do. Now, if I log out, I'm logged out. And do I stay logged out? And I do, so it works. Okay, so this application works. I am gonna fix that form thing on the create user form real quick, and then we'll deploy it. But otherwise, we are, are good on the front end as well. 
um, it's working with the deployed database. So I'm going to go to my app.js, go to the end of the create user function or handle sign up, I think it was. Yep, handle sign up. And then after it's done, sign up successful. That's where we should clean up those forms. So, what were those forms? I think it's create UN, create PW. Uh, Okay, so this dot create un equals this dot create pw equals and there we go um, save okay so that should do that now so let's go try it out real quick refresh so let's do Alex Merced2 and a password. Sign up is successful and it cleared out the form. Good. Okay, so that does what I wanted to do for the most part. Let's create another repo. Let's go back to GitHub. So I'm going to go back to GitHub, make another repo. So new repository. I'm going to call this notes app front end and cool I create repository now I just need to push up my code from here so let me kill this server I don't need this anymore um, kill this terminal I'm gonna open it up in this folder the front end folder and I need to create a repository git in it git add git commit dash m first commit git push origin master oh I have to actually add the remote control C okay uh, git push origin master so now it's pushed up to github yay Okay, no, it's that front end. And then what I'm gonna do is go to Netlify. And then we go to netlify.com. I'm gonna log in. Create a new site from Git. GitHub. Okay, I'm just gonna look for my notes app. Notes. I want the front end. Let's connect that. That's all good. That will deploy. And there we go. And now this is deployed online. So I should be able, and again, it's already connected to my uh, Heroku database before. So I should be able to type, use the password I used in before. And there we go, it works. Okay, cheese. Okay, well not, do I wanna update it? Yeah, cheese too. Cool. There you saw, I just created, I updated, uh, we could see it, and we could delete it. Okay, Merced Notes. Okay, we've just created a full stack app. There's user auth. Feel free to come up and sign up with your own <laughs> for your own account if you want. And um, yeah, have a great day and uh, enjoy. And um, yeah, uh, so that, that concludes this build. We did it. We built the front end. We built the back end. We've added auth. Uh, we we, we kind of took care of a lot of the things. Um, this is uh, pretty cool. So my name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. Check out devnursery.com for more videos. And make sure to sign up for the Slack community over there at devnursery.com to meet other cool devs.